Hi, my dear students. Welcome to my channel. We are discussing IIT Z Advanced 2017 Physics Solutions. This is section 2 and problem number 8, 9 and 10. Please keep watching. Okay students, we will see the solution here. First I will explain what information is given. Here three regions are there, region 1, region 2 and region 3. In the region 2, one magnetic field is there, that is into the board. The width of the magnetic field is 3 by 2 R. So we will choose a coordinate system. This is x axis, this is y axis, this is origin. One charged particle of charge plus Q entering at Y is equal to minus R and perpendicular to the boundary also. Okay. Now what happens when charged particle enter it will undergo circular path no. So what the question given what should be the value of magnetic field such that it will come back to region 1. It is entering from region 1 no. And it should come back to region 1. So that is the question. For that what concept involved is. The radius of the circular path. R is equal to mv by bq. That radius. Should be less than. The width of the magnetic field. So small r. Radius of the circular orbit. Should be less than 3 by 2 r. Okay, that concept we will use to solve this problem. You see here, R is equal to MV by BQ. MV is momentum law, so P by BQ you can write. R should be less than 3 by 2 R. This is a condition to come back into the region 1. So you substitute P by BQ less than 3 by 2 R. From this you will get the relation B greater than 2 by 3 into P by QR. So, option A is correct option. Okay, students, we will see what is the option B. For B is equal to 8 by 30 into P by QR, the particle will enter region 3 through the point P2 on X axis. You see the figure here. The particle entering into the magnetic field at Y is equal to minus R no. It is leaving the region 2 and entering into region 3 at P2. Okay. So, what we have to do? When it is traveling inside the magnetic field, no? it is part of a circle. This is a part of a circle. Means, you draw one line here. This is the radius of this circular path. This is R. This is 3 by 2 R is given. So from here to here also R. So from here to here is R. From here to here is small r minus capital R. You see this triangle no? Right angle triangle. So use the Pythagoras theorem. You can find out the radius of the path of the charged particle inside the magnetic field. Now you see this is hypotenuse. This is base. This is height. So R square equal to R minus capital R whole square plus 3 by 2 R whole square. This is equation 1. This is one equation, one variable and one solution. So you can very well find out the R, the radius of circular path R is equal to 13 by 18 to R. This is equation 2. This R is equal to P by BQ. Equation 3, this is general formula for any charged particle which is undergoing circular path in a magnetic field, the radius is equal to P by BQ, where P is the momentum. So, from equation 2 and 3, so P by BQ is equal to 13 by 8 into R. From this, you will get B is equal to 8 by 13 into P by QR. So, this option B is correct. Okay, students, we will see the, what is the third option, that is C. When the particle V enters region 1, so the longest possible path in a region 2, the magnitude of change in its linear momentum between the point P1 
and the farthest point from y axis is p by root 2 we will check what happened the particle enter here no that is the initial momentum along the x direction so when it is coming back into the region 1 now so at a point where it is very far from the y axis okay it has to be radius from here to here no so at this point tangential to this path no the momentum direction is along this direction okay so here the momentum direction is along y direction what the question asked what is the change in momentum between here and here okay now you see pi initial momentum along the x axis direction pi cap final momentum at this point pf is equal to pj cap along y direction change in momentum is asked so del p is equal to pf minus pi equal to p into j cap minus i cap j cap is unit vector along y axis i cap is unit vector along x axis now modulus mod of del p is equal to p into root this is supposed to be the answer but what the fellow is given p by root 2 is given so that option is wrong okay so option c is wrong okay students so will see the option d uh, for a fixed b b is a magnetic field particles of same charge plus q and the same velocity v the distance between the point p1 and the point of re-entry into the region 1 that is nothing but p1 is here no re-entry ka hao rahe here no so distance between this point p and this okay this is nothing but diameter only diameter of the circular path okay uh, what it is uh, the distance between the point p1 and point of re-entry into the region 1 is inversely proportional to the mass of the particle we will see what is this distance just if i told you that is nothing but diameter of the circular path diameter equal to 2 into radius no radius is equal to mv divided by bq no so this diameter is proportional to mass it is directly proportional to mass but what this fellow is telling inversely proportional to mass so this option D is wrong. Okay. Out of A, B, C, D, four options, option A and option B are correct. Okay, students, we'll go for next question. Okay, students, this is question number nine. The instantaneous voltage at three terminals marker X, Y, and Z are given. Vx is equal to V0 sin omega t, Vy is equal to V0 sin omega t plus 2 pi by 3, Vz is equal to V0 sin omega t plus 4 pi by 3. Okay, what are the options are? Well, ideal voltmeter is configured to read RMS value of potential difference between its terminals. It is connected between the points X and Y and then between Y and Z. The readings of the voltmeter will be okay that is the question you see here so the phase difference between vx and vy 2 pi by 3 phase difference between vy and vz so 4 pi by 3 minus 2 pi by 3 that is again 2 pi by 3 you can very well write vector diagram no this is origin so this is Vx, 120 degree space difference, this is Vy, so uska 120 degrees again, this is Vz. Now you understand what is Vx, Vy, Vz, the phase difference, no? First we will measure Vxy. So Vxy is equal to, it is simple vectors. So Vxy is equal to Vx minus Vy. So the magnitude for Vx is V0, no? Simple vector addition or vector subtraction the simple formula you don't know so this is equal to under root of v naught square plus v naught square minus 2 v naught square cos 120 degrees cos 120 is equal to cos 90 plus 30 equal to minus sine 30 equal to minus 1 by 2 
सो हियर माइनस माइनस प्लस हो जाएगा ना सो फाइनली विल गेट वी नॉट इंटू रूट थ्री दट इज वी एक्स वाई बट वॉट वी वॉन्ट वी एक्स वाई आर एम एस यू नो द फॉर्मुला जनरल इफ वी नॉट इज देयर उसका आर एम एस वी नॉट बाई रूट टू रहता ना इट इज सिंगल सो वी एक्स वाई आर एम एस इज इक्वल वी नॉट इंटू रूट थ्री बाई टू ओके सो सिमिलरली यू कैन डू वी वाई जेड आल्सो सो ऑप्शन ए बी सी डी सो ऑप्शन ए एंड डी आर करेक्ट ओके हियर ऑप्शन डी वॉट इट इज गिवेन This V R M S, what you are measuring, you know, it is independent of choice of the two terminals, because you take V X Y R V Y Z R V X Z, the answer is same. It will show the same reading. That is V naught into root three by two. So for this question, option A and option D are correct. You got it now? Okay, students. This is question number ten. A point charge plus Q is placed just outside an imaginary hemispherical surface of radius capital R, as shown in the figure. Which of the following statements is are correct? You see here, this is one imaginary surface. This is spherical surface. In fact, is hemispherical surface half of the sphere. So one charge plus Q is kept here. Okay. So what is the first option? The electric flux passing through the curved surface of the hemisphere is. This is curved surface, no? Okay. First, I will explain what is meant by electric flux. Electric flux is equal to E dot A is equal to E A cos theta. E is electric field. A is surface area. Theta is angle between electric field and surface area. Suppose theta is zero, the electric flux is E dot A is equal to E into A because cos zero is one. If theta is one eighty degrees, cos one eighty is minus one now, so the flux will be negative. So E dot A is equal to minus E into A. I will simply explain. Suppose this is a surface now, electric field is along this direction. For this surface, the direction of the surface area is opposite. Here theta is 180. The flux through this surface is negative. Suppose you take flux through this surface. Electric field is passing through this, and I am asking back side along this direction. So here theta is zero, no? So that case the flux is positive. Now you see here, this is the surface area. The direction is. Here you take some small portion of the surface area at this point. The direction of surface area is up, but electric field direction is down. So electric field and surface area are opposite direction. Means theta is 180, cos 180 is minus. So whatever flux is coming through this curved surface, it has to be negative. Okay. Now we will go further. What is the Gauss law. Integration of e dot ds is equal to q enclosed by epsilon naught. This is known for everybody. The flux through any closed surface is equal to one by epsilon naught times total charge enclosed within that closed surface. No, okay. Here, this charge plus q is not completely enclosed by this surface. Okay. For that, what we have to do? We have to go for a solid angle. For a complete sphere, the solid angle is four pi. So the electric flux due to this charge, you see, this is electric field line. This is electric field line. This is electric field line. Suppose if you take one electric field line like this, no, it enter the surface here and it will leave the surface here. So electric flux from here to here it is zero. What is the electric field? That is entering the surface and leaving the surface. No, the flux is zero. You take the angle forty-five. It is entering here and leaving leaving from here. Means this curved surface, this electric field entering only one time. It is not leaving, just entering. You see here. If you take here, it is entering here and it is leaving here. No, so this this electric 
feel passing growth that we should not take. What you have to take? It should be within the 45 degrees. Okay. This is hemisphere. No? So this is theta is 45. The solid angle formula, general formula, sigma is equal to pi into 1 minus cos theta. This is solid angle. Theta is 45. No? The phi total in general formula is equal to pu by epsilon naught. But flux through this curved surface only we want. So phi is equal to this solid angle divided by 4 pi into phi total. The phi total is already pu by epsilon naught. Solid angle is 2 pi into 1 minus cos 45. Cos 45 is 1 by root 2. So flux will become minus q by 2 epsilon naught into 1 minus 1 by root 2. Okay. So this option A is correct. I think you understand. Now we go for option B. The total flux through curved and flat surface is Q by epsilon naught. Curved and this is flat surface is Q by epsilon naught. This is obviously wrong because Q by epsilon naught is valid if this surface completely encloses. Suppose a pura as a complete enclosed curve. If charge is inside the sphere, then only that formula is valid. So option B is wrong. Next, option C is the component of electric field normal to the flat surface is constant over the surface. This is flat surface, no? So for this, the electric field formula E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. You see here, from here to here is R. From here to here is the distance is changing now. Here to here distance is changing now. The electric field is not constant. It is changing with the distance from here to any point on the surface. So, option C also wrong. Now, option D. The circumference of the flat surface is an equipotential. The potential formula V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. You see here, circumference of this flat surface, no, it is circle, no? You are taking one sphere, you cut into two halves. In the middle, what you will find? Exactly one circle, no? That only is asking. The circumference of the circle, that is certainly the same distance. The circle, no? It is same distance from the charge. The potential is same all the points on the circumference of the circle. So, option D is correct. For this question, option A, sorry, sorry. Uh, for this question, option A and option D is correct. Okay, students, we have finished this question number 8, 9 and 10 in this video. I think you understood very well. What you have to do is, this kind of problems, no? Mostly depends on imagination. To have a better imagination, we should have a peace of mind. And we should read with lot of interest. Then only we can do the best. Most of the problems in electromagnetism, no? Electromagnetism and electrostatics. When, when you are imagining a sphere and all things, no? For that, we should always work with more concentration. Take care students. Till now we have finished these three questions of the section 2 of 2017 paper and this is paper 2 and next video keep I will keep very soon. Till then bye bye.